today from Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. see Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns. Well, even with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions, Allegiant Stadium, opened back in 2020. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Las Vegas Raiders. we go from Las Vegas. And we will not get run back here to start. Hit the touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They'll be led out by Deshaun Watson. Of course, he won a national title to Clemson and already has three Pro Bowls under his belt in the National Football League. And he's exactly the man you want control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball, not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the first read isn't available or when the pressure's about to get to him. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. A little do-it-yourself run right there. A nice gain. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard for the 34. First carry for Nick Chubb. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And not much there at all. Maybe yard up to 43. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding point of attack and not giving ground. All right, second down right back to Hunt. And he'll get maybe a couple, if that, up to 46. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Here's Watson. And that is incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. 
When they fail on that third down play, that brings up fourth down, and they probably have to punt it away. On fourth down, on is Corey Bojorquez to punt. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? He, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. On first down, Carr got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he's caught just shy of the 25 at the 24. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. But when you hit him on a move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. And those slow start here, a couple of nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. To back good plays, have them on the move on first down. Shotgun now for Carr. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And they'll get this down the 42 yard line. Only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play call right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it? Kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. What will look like a march in the end zone is in a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they get their offense back on track. Car after the incomplete pass brings him up second ten. They'll set up a throw. Caught on the right side by Adams. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 30. They pick up 12 on the play there and they move the chains. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Call it a gain of a yard at its second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep. Going to the air on the opening drive. To throw again on second down. Carr. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. 
I can't help it. Every time I see an empty backfield, I almost revert to college football because that's an immediate alert for quarterback draw. We don't see it as much in the NFL, and he stayed in the pocket and threw one incomplete. But I think if you've got a guy with wheels, it could be a really nice play because a lot of defenses, when they see empty, they come with pressure. And without that protection, he took a hit there, went down to the ground. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Throwing now is Carr. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 19. Give him 10 yards there. This offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. We often hear the phrase, sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. In the red zone, a car delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple. And it's second down. But it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Now a first carry for Brandon Bolden. And he'll take it into the end zone for a leader touchdown. Brandon Bolden, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. And that CD one heck of a run. He just refused to go down. And that's where determination comes in because he had at least a couple of guys had really good shots at him. He just said, I don't think so. Speed, power, elusiveness, all on display right there. Look like you, partner, back doing your salad days in Ebbettville. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7 zip Vegas. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And a long run there in the end to top it off. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taking in at the three. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. A last series for him, a little disappointing. Forced a punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Watson on first down. And this will be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to safety valve. Defensive credit. Coverage was a lockdown mode everywhere. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. And here's the former Raider right out, Amari Cooper. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 
Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speedy agility. So good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter. So they better get a wrinkle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. And he brought down just shy of the 40. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. As you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Watson, off play action. It always coughed it up, and the Raiders pick it up. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. So now our referee looking at the sideline saying, are you sure? But yes, this defense has accepted the penalty. So that means they will not take possession on the fumble recovery. Boy, not sure why in the world you do that, but that is apparently the decision. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Here's Bolden. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there. It just ran him down. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. He was able to escape momentarily in the backfield, but you could just kind of tell that wasn't going anywhere. You know, in film session, he'll get minus for not getting him on the ground by himself. But with the coach really going to analyze, how fast did his teammates get there to help him? If one guy slows him up, everyone else better be there, and that's what they got on that play. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. From the gun, it's Carr. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Now, you don't want to see that penalty at any point, but it adds a little extra to it when it comes on third down. It certainly does, because if this were a boxing match, they had them on the ropes there. Third down incompletion, fourth down upcoming. Instead, that mistake resets everything back to first down, which means they have to stay on the field longer to try to stop this drive. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game. The key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Play action, now it's Carr. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on, it's third down. My first thought is a prize because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They come up to the line now facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. Now Carr. And he 
he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes under punt. Back deep, Jakeem Graham. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be picking safety right now. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. And if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get a field, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he'll get a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, so it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Here's Watson. That's going to be taken in by Felton. And he's out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a, been a long story. night. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first to 10. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. They'll roll him out right. And they're going to get this up to midfield. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. From the 50, it's Watson. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. On 
On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop down to the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Now it's Watson. And that's off the mark, incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Out of the gun, Watson. This is the tight end to Joku. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. He ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And that one will be no good. He never had it on line. It's well wide to the left, and this will stay at a seven-point game. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. They've got a 7 nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drop starts. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Carr. His throw incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a game of four. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back die play. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. To throw his car. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 22-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the James. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding onto the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Carr. Got his hand complete over the middle. It's Adams. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. It was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver is trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Bolden. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Brandon Bolden with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Carlson on for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's finished off with five-yard touchdown run. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And he'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Browns set to take over. And they're in a bind early. You're down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, it's the second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. They begin this drive with Chubb. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is, possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense just to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They run it again with Chubb. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown, because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well, because you're headed towards the ball carrier with the bandit. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. So that was all you're looking for, a play like that. Get the first down and keep the vibe moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
They'll try the air now with Watson. And his throw is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the cover was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So live scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Now Watson. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-sap and he locked it on his target. But he was covered quite well and that was incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him sharing at a third and ten. To throw is Watson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how have, we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Throwing on first down is Carr. It's caught here by Adams. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Good work out to catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath wrap, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Bolden. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. That's a really nice, tough run inside and gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle, a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. They stay on the ground. Here's Bolden again. And he'll be brought down just shot of 45. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stepped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Carr going to try and throw on third down. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he's going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback's on, was able to make the sure catch, flip the down marker back to one. So a first and ten upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 48-yard line. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And out inside the 40 to about the 38. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. 
Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. If they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And now that's set up third and two. Today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield, creating plays, and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Try to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Try to run for it with Jacobs. Now this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try to fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And that is no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. The Browns set and ready to go on offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off the end zone. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try it from 56 yards, you know, everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. The Browns drive about to get started. Defense got the better of the last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First to ten. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Get credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And again, it's Chubb. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now they're staring at third and eight. That last play, backwards yard. You think, Brandon, I like the intensity the defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because doing their job. They're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss of the tackle. The Browns on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Back to throw, Watson. Open man here, Schwartz complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Corey Bajorquez now. He's been a busy man here this first half as he gets it away. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. 24-yard line is where they spotted. spotted. 
Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one from that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Here's a throw out wide complete to his run back right side. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. When you run a screen pass really well, you gotta like the look of it because so many punts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Caught out a throw, and this throw a bit lead as he couldn't reach back for it. I see surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Here's Carr to throw. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. I gotta say, I was a little surprised to see Charles come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. Meanwhile, Carr's throw pulled in by Renfro. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold onto that one, and it's third down. And I think they'd be well-served to take that type of a physical approach against it the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. They head to the line, facing a third of seven, following the incompletion on second down. Here's Carr. Oh, the slip connects with Devontae Adams. And a tackle going to be made at the 38. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a first set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 38. Again, it's Carr. He goes right back to Adams. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big-time arm strength. Very nice route. So the ball down to 16 here for first and 10. Jacob's going to try to middle. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you think runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down and four. Carr. This is caught. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. I'd have to say they're feeling like they're in rhythm right now. Things
Teams are in sync, aren't they? Teams winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just complete another one for a first down there to the tight end. Jacobs will take this one in for a Vegas touchdown. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. I mean, with all the actions happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clipping on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. Carlson now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This will be fielded inside five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, CD, you, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what he could be facing the next time they get the ball. Uses the stiff arm, and he goes out right around the 39. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal? Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. The last run got nine. That leaves them a second and a yard. Hunt will try going up the middle. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They go up the middle with Chubb. Yeah, he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. 
Here's Watson. That one is cut by Hunt. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait to the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Watson. Dancing to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting marked backward on this drive. Come through another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Ball on the 30 as they come up, second and 10. Watson now to throw. And that is taken in by Njoku. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. Nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive in the response. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. From the gun, here's Watson. Right back to Njoku. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Back to throw again. Touchdown! Deshaun Watson on target to David Njoku. And the Browns get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked about one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. Extra point by York is up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. First down, Carr. He hits Adams complete. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the stopper with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The 
one play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Throwing now is Carr. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jeremiah Owusu Kromoa. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. You think you're going into halftime with a good size lead? Not so fast. That pick six really changes the complexion, probably also changes the halftime speech. No doubt about it. Instead of going in relaxed, you're probably a little more uptight right now, probably a little bit angry. Let's see if they can get their focus back. New York on now for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taking it about the one. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Marching back onto the field. Now Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defenses, getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Now Carr to try again after the pick six. And that one incomplete. But now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. To a costly penalty yardage wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of foul and what the officials are looking for in these situations whether you're playing the man or the ball and if you're playing the man you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play but if you're looking for the football it's less likely to draw the flag car now on first down throw right side into the hands of Foster Moreau. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. From the 41, Carr. This to the sideline and nearly intercepted. Oh, he had that in his grasp. Couldn't get it. Instead, it'll bring up third down. A oh, man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before. Almost had one here. He's going to start taking better care of it. Yeah, really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Now Carr. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dive package, lots of speed, no space to fit in football.
So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. One of the few things that hasn't gone right in this first half. They had a chance there for late points, but this one winds up off mark. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And this one will not get there. Off to the left anyway, it's no good. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. with the lead already and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway here's Abdullah from his end zone and he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line now comes the Raiders offense they'll go on offense first to start quarter number three and the points they have come fast and furious in this quarter you really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Car now on first down. Yeah, quick throw here. That complete. go through your proper reads and progressions the drag route could be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there and those guys like it right? they can get the ball with a full head of steam especially against man coverage because man coverage they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end a good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from 29 And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. That incompletion certainly makes his upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. But just four yards on a pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
Once again, it's Jacobs. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now in what was his 10th carry of ball game. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, making it work. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first to ten. Now Carr. They'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. They've created a nice sustained drive while the plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. run got six now second and four now a toss to the left for Jacobs and inside the 20 before he's brought down give him the first down 15 yards that time for the Raiders look to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run I get a feeling the defense get a little bit tired and that's the last thing they need especially when they look up at the scoreboard So here's a first and 10 now down inside at 20. Into the red zone at Carr. Now they go screen. It's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there. Those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far. But second and 13 here. To throw, it's Carr. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Could hang on third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Car going to throw. That's caught by Waller out left side. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of first down. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. So Carr exits on fourth down and on comes Daniel Carlson for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Carlson is good. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. They picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, 
keep making it difficult for them to come back. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets it to kick this away. Brand, he will not return it, and his guys begin at the 25. Here's the Brown now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now it's Watson. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did it in a big way there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Watson. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And boy, he's very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Well, I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, the defense almost relaxed and said, we get this covered, and all of a sudden, space to run after the catch, and now they're screaming, Spotty, get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. The Browns send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. A 40-yard punt give him three on the return, and the Raiders will take over now first and ten. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The hitter here is complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Five yards remain on second down. Now a give to Jacobs, run right. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They get five through the air. Last play now, five on the ground. First and 10. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Carr. And that's complete downs. 
And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first and 10, here's Carr. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Throwing again on second down. Barr, they're looking for water, but this is intercepted. Pass the 20. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's when you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And now they are in prime position, first and goal after the interception and return. They'll look to make it pay off for six points. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. After the interception, here's Watson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Deshaun Watson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Browns take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled. And wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. York now the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now become a 24-21 ball game. Nice tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position, and only one play to score. ready and here we go as he sends this one away Abdul is going to stay put and the drive started to 25 now Vegas offense heading back out there their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten On the ground, it's Jacobs to start to drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and live that game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. <laughs> to throws car. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Jeremiah Rusu Kromoa. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Well, nursing such a small lead, you thought he'd take better care of the football after his last drive. Now for the second straight possession, he's put all the pressure right back on his defense. They need to take a stand and hold that lead. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And down by a field goal, they'll take over with excellent field position following the interception.
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Watson. This is the tight end to Joku. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it caught and don't give up much run after the catch. They go with Chubb on second down. He's going to go out of bounds, but it takes this one down just shy of the 20. 53 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? down the run with Hunt and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lean to be found whatsoever second and ten I think we just on their part it was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power we see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on and trouble try the middle here and he'll take this inside the 20 and out of the 18. Again, only three there, so it leaves him with third and seven ahead. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now it forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. Watson will step away, and out comes Kate York to handle this fourth down field goal try for the Browns. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. York able to send this one through, and that will tie us at 24 all. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there, and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive. And a couple away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. Las Vegas' offense back out. They're ready to go. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And he's got some space here. And they nearly get this all the way midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 107 yards for him on ground now. He has been terrific here this afternoon. 
board, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Play action. Now it's Carr. Looking deep for Adams. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. We know he has a lot of confidence in his arm and likes to force downfield, but coverage was tight there. Fortunate it wasn't picked off. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. On play action, now Carr. Looking deep for Adams. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try to stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. <laughs> Throwing his car on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a bouncing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Watson and the Browns now with a first and ten at their own 17-yard line. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And some space here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. To throw is Watson. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 10, and Browns are going to get first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Back to back, good plays, have them on the move on first down. Handoff up the middle, Hunt, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. Back to throw, Watson. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. 
Judge keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. And the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Operating from the gun, Watson. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked off by Denzel Perryman. And the Raiders are going to take over a couple of yards shy midfield. A lot of bodies there in the middle of the field, and that one intercepted. Yeah, he's looking for his tight end running a drag route across the field. Normally, you'd like him to look a little bit further outside. Here, the throw's a little early, and it winds up in the hands of the defender. Time again to see Josh Jacobs and his Vegas offense operate. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, does he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in a runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Now after the INT, it's Carr. It's caught here by Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Final minute now of the third quarter. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 112 yards on the ground here for Jacobs, and this is a first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Sicking and short, and it brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, did it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Throwing on first down is Carr. He finds his man complete. It's Adams. And he gets this to the 35, but for a gain of five. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 35 on second down, Carr. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled to the Browns 21. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. And Bolden brings it in, complete. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progression, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Well done. Sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosis is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, 
and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Carr going to try and throw a third down. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Probably a little bit of a surprise call there on third and inches that they decided to throw the football. And how difficult is that for an offensive line when they look up and see all those extra bodies coming at them? Tons of bodies coming in. They get a huge sack there. So a big one coming now for Daniel Carlson. This break, our fourth quarter time. The kick by Carlson is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them a lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead. Right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? After the May field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 to 27. Cleveland offense making their way out. And now they find themselves trailing following field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Watson and Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They begin this drive with Chubb, and he is going to lose yardage here. Officially at the one-yard loss, that's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. the loss to start out here second and 11 looking to throw Watson Bell brings it in across the formation so the completion results there in nine yards and now it's third and three tell you what he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long that throw no different yeah a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw I think he looks at it as I can do it so it's not that big of a deal to me and I'm gonna keep firing They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of his power running. He decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't he? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 44, Watson. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, 
they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now a first down throw, Watson. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here on this drive. The chance to exhale just a little bit there with the incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Watson. It's caught by Bryant. And he tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to lead the tight end down into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up and pick up the first down. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Watson. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slider to avoid the big hit. It gets a small gain on the play. Gonna miss this one wide to the left from distance. It's no good, and instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. The Raiders offense coming back out onto the field. Now they caught a break with that missed field goal. Instead of being tied, they now sit in the fourth quarter driver's seat, still up three. A fourth quarter miss like that, there is no lonelier feeling than that kicker right now. As we all know, a lot of these games, they come down to special teams. And when that chance comes, you have to perform in order to help your team get over the top. Could have tied it. Instead, they remain down three. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Their defense was able to hold serve, albeit with a little help from that missed field goal as they settle in now first and ten. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The car's throw taken in by Adams. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. to get a couple second and eight coming up well any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because of defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage they used great leverage held their spot and stacked him up from the 25 on second down car Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Carr. That's complete to Bolden. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the six. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, 
I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to swell the lead to six. Carlson able to put this one through, and that will double their lead as it's up to six. So to get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they'd scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now. <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. After the made field goal, Carl Sale sets up to kick this away. Feeds it right around the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Heading out its Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time out, another missed field goal. So maybe their confidence wavering a little bit right now in the kicking game. And I'm with you on that. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run it back out there in a tough situation. But let's face it, they may have to. So right now, the head coach is talking to the offense coordinator and saying, call this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's we'll try and take the field goal out of it. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Watson now to throw. Throw left side caught by the tight end, Njoku. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 to first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he managed to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up, maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 45 on second down, Watson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Following that sack, Watson and the Browns backed up for a third and long. He'll look to throw. That one is caught by Hunt. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fizz of the referee. And that means fourth down. Pitch a catch there, good for 13. And that'll bring up fourth down. Brandon has certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. They'll run for it. Chubb. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Thought they might throw the football with a little chunk that they had remaining on four down, but they ran it. They got it. And the reason they were able to get it done, he ran that play with conviction, didn't he? Understood he would get a little bit of help from his friends up front, but it was really on him. Go ahead and make the power move and get it done. And that he did. 
They run again on first down, Chubb. A nice move he had, but can't break away. And he's brought down just inside the third. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line. And it's intercepted. Picked up by Jayon Brown. And the Raiders are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field. And a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of misthrow or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. And the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25 yard line. They'll try and start this drop in the air. Throw left side taken in by Renfro. And he gets it up to the 34 out bounds there. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be left with second and a couple. Kevin Stefanski consulted with his guys above, and they've told him, throw that challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's a call. So the decision to challenge does not pan out, and that's also going to cost him a timeout. <laughs> on second down, Jacobs. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation, and taking care of the football, paramount, he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down to go with Jacobs again. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carried around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class, bring it back to the coach, he's big trouble. Now a play fake. Carr. Looking deep for Adams. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. So it's rated right football as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To throw his car. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas.
47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And Browns will take over first and 10. So Deshaun Watson in the offense, down by six, a minute 44 to go. How this thing pan out, we'll watch as they come up on first down. Watson to throw, complete to the Joker. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Watson trying to get his guys moving. Here's Watson. Finding Hunt, and down he goes, but he takes it up to 40. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads them into the end zone. Now we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Now Watson. He's going to let it fly. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Merrick. And the Raiders have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with an interception. Huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off and now here come the Raiders and this one all over but the shouting you might say now there's one timeout remaining defensively but probably no real need to use it here yeah the only time they would use it strictly for pride They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. And on third down, the Browns going to go with a nickel set. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was insatiable. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. Charles, and for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time. Every team that we ever talk about, taking care of the ball offense, trying to take it away on defense and let's face it when you give away three times one game you make it very difficult for your team to get the w So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.